<laughs> Sorry, I had another window open and wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, we're live now. Welcome back, guys. From the last hi, class. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Okay, lots of people from the last class. Welcome back, Ali. Welcome back, Adela. Round two for me. Round two for Michael. Round mm -hmm. three for Ali. Round two for Adela. <laughs> good, <laughs> good. Uh, let me just send a message to Natalie. Uh, yes, we have tutoring after this class. Okay. All right. Uh, we also have Alexander. Hi, Alexander. Hey, how's it going? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. Is this your first class with me? Um, I guess it is, yes. I guess. Oh, yeah, I think it is, too. <laughs> Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And where are you from? I'm from Russia. Russia. What part of Russia? Moscow. Moscow. Okay, so is Michael. Cool. Big city, though. <laughs> and Yuki's in, Yuki is also in, in Moscow. But it's a very big city, so you guys might not have met, run into each other before. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's say hi to Yuki. Hi, Yuki. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you today? Uh, fine. Thank you. Great. Good. How's everything going with you? Things, things are going well with me. Thank you. Good. Um, yesterday was my birthday, so oh, got a little bit older. Happy birthday. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so had a, I had a sushi dinner last night, and it was really nice. Oh. I went to a Japanese restaurant. Oh, I, so what I, is your zodiac sign? I'm jealous. My you. zodiac sign? Yeah. I'm an Aries. Yeah, as well as me. Oh, you're also an Aries. Okay. Yeah, my birthday was like on 21st March. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. And I yeah. have a birthday I feel the today. same, though. Sorry? Uh, I have a birthday today, too. Oh, it's your birthday today. Okay, happy <laughs> birthday. Thank you. Happy <laughs> birthday. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, so mine was yesterday. Um, didn't have a party because I've been, life has been a bit busy lately, but I did get to go out to dinner, and it was really nice. So I had some sushi. It was good. I may be you. you in, oh, you, <laughs> is there good sushi in Moscow? <laughs> uh, I can't find good sushi here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not, um, I didn't grow up in Japan, so I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I just decide, okay, this tastes good to me, so I'm not sure if it's how authentic it was, but it, I liked it <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, yes, let's see, who else is here? Uh, Andre's here. Hi, Andre. Hello, Andre. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine. Great, great. Good to see you. Um, let's see. We also have, uh, I think your name looks like it's in Russian, but I can't read it. So it's with a B. Hello, I'm Vladimir. Vladimir, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me write that down. And I think this is also your first class with me. Yes, with you. It's my first class. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Russia, St. Petersburg. Okay, okay. Lots of people from Russia today in this class. I think this is the most Russian-heavy class I've had in a long time. <laughs> Russian, <laughs> Russian gift class. All right, and and Russian, Russian uh, Japanese expat in Russia also. <laughs> Adela and Ali have to have to stick together. <laughs> All right, welcome guys. Um, today we'll be looking at some GIFs. Um, a GIF is a funny picture that has some movement with it, so it won't have any sound like a video. So you'll just be looking at what happens, and you'll be describing what you see. So you'll um, see some kind of some kind of action. So of course you'll you'll learn some new verbs. Um, there are some phrasal verbs today too that we'll learn. I'll be writing our new terms in the chat. So it's a big vocabulary builder. Um, each person will get a GIF, and you'll describe everything that you see in it. Where do you think it is? What time of day is it? Who is in the GIF? What is happening? Also describing describing the actions using some adverbs and maybe describing um, maybe how some people feel in the GIF. There are some strange things that happen to some people. So uh, this is a good class also for some of those emotional words as well. How does this person feel? Are they shocked? Are they surprised? Are they frustrated? A lot of different facial expressions you'll see. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. There's no document today. I will just put them on my screen. Um, sometimes the GIF quality, the, because it's a GIF, the video quality might not be so great. So I will also give you the link to the GIF if you want to look at it on your own computer. And also sometimes the screen has problems anyway. So you'll just see um, the links in the chat and then um, we'll look at my screen otherwise. So we'll go ahead and start. Um, 
let's have Michael start this one, and you'll have this GIF that's coming up now. So uh, I see like uh, um, a reporter, yeah, uh -huh. a kind of reporter, with a microphone in his hands, and he's speaking. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, there's like uh, passing uh, away or passing by, passing by. Something passing by, uh huh. But uh, it's uh, like um, oh, I don't know the name in uh, English. I would call that a tram. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, uh, passing by, so it's kind of public transport. Yeah. And um, it's passing by, and uh, there is like a boy, mm -hmm. uh, young boy, and uh, he is touching uh, the reporter uh, on his not beard, but what is that? Chin. Chin, yeah. <laughs> touching his chin. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it is written that a kid trolling a Turkish reporter on live TV. So the name of the GIF. Yeah, yeah. You know that slang word, troll, to troll yeah, someone? Like it's uh, joking. Uh, yeah. I, I think like joking in a bad way or something. Uh, yeah, it's a bit negative and you, you kind of play a joke on someone. Um, people can be trolls on the internet. I think that's that's where we usually use that word trolling. Like, mm -hmm. um, for example, you look at a YouTube video and people are writing these crazy things in the comment section to make people angry. They're trolling them. <laughs> Some, sometimes the comments like quite um, funny when you read them. Like, yeah. you may laugh out loud. Like, very yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're reading those comments like they're kind of stupid and hilarious. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. stupid and hilarious comments. Hilarious, yeah, hilarious. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, uh, what is the city? Uh, uh, I city? think it, that is Istanbul. Oh. Istanbul? So do you okay. have this transportation? Uh, yes. On some narrow street, it's very narrow street. Uh, it is a narrow street, yeah. Yeah, for this transport. I mean. uh -huh. No, no, uh, just uh, people see it there. People uh, get uh, on this uh, uh, machine and tram. Uh, yeah, tram, and there is there is a uh, maybe underground uh, some. Uh, a metro uh, is underground. In, in, no, no, not no? metro. Some okay. inter inter interesting place. Uh, you, uh, the tram take you there, and you, you see there, and come back. Something like that. Okay, so it takes you to different attractions. Yes. Okay. Um, I have a question. Uh, okay. I see this tram is going uh, like, uh, um, like uh, away. Yeah, it's going. Uh, it's going, yeah, you could, yeah, it's yeah, it's going forward, it's going away from the reporter. So I, I, I'm wonder, I wondering, uh, like there's people on, in, in front of it, so how it's tapping or what to give the people to go? <laughs> to let them go ahead? Yeah, the idea that you see a lot of people there yeah. on the tram uh, um, road, like, or uh -huh, what? Uh -huh. And there is how it's tapping and... Uh, it gives a signal, and after people goes away, all right, Ali. Uh, it's, <laughs> how does that work? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how is it it's work, but uh, it uh, goes uh, very slowly and make noise. Oh, uh -huh. slowly. Uh, yeah, very slowly. It's not a bus, public bus, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Just uh, you, someone want to see around. Just uh, maybe you. Uh, get on this kind of. So uh, oh, so it's for like tourists then. Yes, yes, okay. yes, something, okay. something like that, uh, and that's uh, most crowded street in Istanbul. Okay, okay, in the city yes. center. Uh, yes, uh, uh, okay. a lot of uh, fun place. Okay, and, okay. Uh, I am going to Istanbul in two hours. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, yeah. you should go there and make a video yeah. and make a yeah. gif of it. <laughs> Take a, <laughs> get, a get on the tram and make a gif. <laughs> yeah. after, after the class, <laughs> after the class, uh, I am going to uh, airport. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, in the Netherlands, we have trams like that. Um, it's It looks like a bus, but you can see on the ground. Oh, Michael, do you know the name of those these two lines that the tram is, mm. is rolling on? No, not in English. Uh, what, what is it? Tracks. Tracks, okay. You can have tracks for a train and a tram. So the, the tram goes on a track. Um, and in the Netherlands, we have them, and we use them just like buses. Like, I ride the tram almost every day in the Netherlands. Um, it's very easy to get around from my from my neighborhood to the city center on the tram. Um, they go kind of fast uh, if there's no people, but if there are people, they go very slow, and they have a bell in the Netherlands, and they ring the bell so people get out of the right, get out of the way of the tram. But yeah, okay, so this one's this one is not like a bus though. It's like tourist tourist thing, yeah, yes. taking people on a tour. Yes. Okay. Trolling the reporter. <laughs> Too bad we don't see... I wish we could see, like, two more seconds of this so we can see the, the reporter's reaction. <laughs> he might uh, turn to, uh, to see who touched him. Yeah. Uh -huh. You could say he, he might turn around. Turn around. Yeah. To, or just, you could say, look behind him. Who was Angrily. That? Angrily, like... Angrily? What the... <laughs> yeah, what just happened? <laughs> yes. Okay, good, good. I think we have a, a lot of information about this one. We have a tram on the tracks, and a boy is trolling the tram operator, <laughs> touching his chin. Not, not the tram operator, the reporter. Reporter. Reporter, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, Carmen's here. Hi, Carmen. Uh, hello, hello, Andrea. I'm sorry, I'm late. That's okay. <laughs> we just got started with our first one. Okay, nice to see you. Okay, uh, let's go to Yuki for the next one. Yes. Okay. Smaller. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Here's the link. A man in the room. Uh, he. He broke the egg uh -huh. and put put the yolk. Yolk. He put the yolk into into the table on, on the table. Uh -huh. uh, and immediately, uh, suddenly, uh, um, uh, uh, chick suddenly chick appeared. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, and he was surprised of 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 appearance of a chick. Surprised, surprised by the appearance of a chick. Uh, he was surprised by by it, and uh -huh. he he ran away. <laughs> <laughs> the very funny guy. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Yuki, do you know the difference between a chicken and a chick? Uh, chicken is a uh, uh, common experience, uh, common expression of uh, the bird. Mm -hmm. uh, chick is, is a uh, child. Uh, yeah. Baby. Baby chick. Baby. Baby, uh -huh. baby, uh -huh. baby chicken. <laughs> uh -huh. So chick is uh, chicken is just general. Chick is a baby. Baby uh -huh. chicken. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a chick here for sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> And he's very surprised by it. This guy makes all these weird videos where he he plays. Of course, this isn't like a real thing. You know, you can't do this in real life. But he he edits videos so they look very strange like that. So <laughs> so uh, uh, so that chick survived. Uh, uh huh. He, um, he he didn't. Uh, it didn't be eaten by by a man. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you could well, say it, it it didn't get eaten by a man. Yes, the, uh, the, yes they didn't get to eat him. Get for, eaten by a man. Get ah, uh, it didn't get to eaten by a man. Uh huh. Uh huh. For a while, but for a while. <laughs> for a while, for now, you can say it it didn't get eaten for now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> or or it didn't get eaten yet. <laughs> Maybe <Yeah>. it will. <laughs> the the chick uh, grow up in the egg. Yes, I mean I I meant it. Yes. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. It, 
Yes, still, still, uh, still, it it has a den dangerous moment. <laughs> <laughs> a dangerous moment. Yes. Uh, yes, as uh, as Alice Ali mentioned, uh, it uh, when it will will grow, when it will grow, uh, uh -huh. it will grow up. In, uh, possibly, possibly, uh, he 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 will try to eat 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 the chicken. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Depends on on if he's a meat eater. What's what's the word we use for meat eaters? I know you know this word because you've talked about your wife like this, Yuki. Meat eater is also. Uh, so the sea. Uh, predator. I know. <laughs> ah, predator. He, the man could be a predator if he hunts the chicken to eat it. Hunter. <laughs> but there's a there's a c word that means someone a person who eats meat. Uh, Opposite of an herbivore. Uh, can carnivore. Carnivore. Uh huh. Uh, carnivore. Carnivore. Yeah, yeah. So if this guy is a carnivore, maybe the chicken will be in danger <laughs> when it grows up into an adult chicken. <laughs> Yes. Very funny, very funny. Um, you said he broke the egg. You can also say he cracked the egg. Correct. Yeah. So you, you hit the egg on the table or on, on the side of a bowl or something, and you, you it breaks, you crack the egg. The shell cracks. So you, you can even say he cracked the egg onto the table. <laughs> that works, too, for, for this for this action. So he cracks it, but sometimes when you talk about crack an egg onto something or crack an egg into something, that means the, the yolk, the, the yellow part and the white of the egg, they, they fall into a bowl or onto a table. So he cracked the, the egg and he, he, uh, he, um, he, he, drop, he drop the yolk onto the table. Mm -hmm. You could say, yeah, he, he dropped the, the yolk and the white onto the table. Oh. Yeah, you could also say he dropped he dropped the, the inside of the egg onto the table, but uh, yolk and white is good. He dropped the yolk and the white onto the table. Or he said mm -hmm. he, he, the, the, egg, the egg's contents fell onto the table, something like that. Yeah, so uh -huh. it's strange. Usually you, you crack an egg into a bowl or into a pan or something, but here it's no bowl, no pan, just the table. Which is hatching. It, yeah, hatching is, yeah, when the, na you know, naturally the, the chicken will, will hatch out of the egg when it's born. But, um, yeah, hatching hatching will be more like on its own. Like, you don't crack the egg open for something to hatch. Usually the baby will crack the egg from the from the inside. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good verb. They're hatching. There. Oh man, if I find it, I'll tell you guys. Um, there's a funny comic. Uh, comic about um, uh, what is it? All these eggs are talking to each other. It's a cartoon, and they say, "What happened to Larry? Oh, Larry died. What happened to Larry? An egg. He died. What happened to him? His chicken came out." <laughs> It's like the eggs die when the chicken hatches. It's funny. It's it's kind of hard to explain it, but it's a funny cartoon. If I can find it, I'll send it to you guys. Okay. <laughs> you have to remind me, though. <laughs> All right, good, good. So this really silly thing that this guy's doing with video editing. Whoa, a chicken from the egg. <laughs> what came first, the chicken or the egg? I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, do I? I know, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, good, Yuki. Let's Thank go you. to another GIF, and this will be for Vladimir. And I'll get you guys the link too. Okay, I can see already. It. Mm. Okay, I can see here two babies, two babies, and uh, one of them. Uh, take a balls, I think. Balloons. Uh, balloons, balloons, yeah. yeah. Balloons, air balloons, yeah. Uh, and and he uh, he touch uh, the head of other baby, and then he uh, he put he uh, I don't know how to say it in English. 
He puts his, um, his, stick, his stick this balloon ah, to, to the wall. Yeah, you can say that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. He sticks the balloon to the wall. To the wall, yeah. yeah uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Very good. Mm. You can say puts or sticks. Both are okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a very funny picture. And I think that uh, this is happening because of static electricity. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh-huh, exactly. Okay, and they are very funny, and I think those baby who is lying on the floor is uh, is very glad to uh, to get <laughs> to get this uh, this experience. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> That's what happens when you're the older sibling? You get to to do things to your younger sibling. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's very fun. And I can see uh, a part of somebody's head in the uh, right uh, low corner of this picture of this. Yeah? Uh huh. Yeah, you see something. Yeah, yeah. A dog. Uh, may maybe it's a dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> could be a dog. He should be using the dog. They have all that hair, all that fur. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> dog yeah. right. That's true. That's true. The baby is less aggressive, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so we say he touches the balloon to the, the baby's head, but there's also another, uh, we have another verb that's good for that. So you, you do touch Rap. it. Yeah, he rubs yeah. it. And rubs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he rubs it against the baby's head. Okay, rubs against the baby's head. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I will remember it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you'll remember it because it's funny. and Yeah. 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 So he rubs the balloon on the baby's head. Or against, on or against. You can rub it on or against. Also works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some static electricity. And then the title of this is Future Scientist Experimenting on Sister's Head. Oh, sister. <laughs> it's his sister. Yeah, yeah. It's What's going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I I would do this. Um, I actually didn't do this with my with my brother. I have a younger brother, but I never did this to him. I did do this with my dogs. <laughs> well, I didn't do I didn't do it to. But I you think I, I, ha I had to try this. It's very fun. <laughs> it's very fun, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you live in a very dry climate, you can get a lot of static if it's dry in the air. If the air is dry. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, good. I think we got it. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Older, older sibling, younger sibling, experimenting using static electricity, rubbing the balloons against the baby's head. And there are some dogs, but they're not doing anything. They're just kind of walking around. Yes. What is uh, the name of this uh, boy? Guess the boy's name. Yeah. Guess the boy's name. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Albert. Albert. Oh, okay. <laughs> like Einstein. Stein. Stein. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe it's a, a future Albert Einstein, future scientist. <laughs> that's a, that's a, some advanced video they have of, of Albert Einstein. I didn't know we could get a color video. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that time. What, is, what is the name of uh, uh, babies? The baby? I don't know. <laughs> Isaac. Isaac. Newton. Apple drop. Yeah, you could, you could, you could make pick your favorite scientists and, and name them and <laughs> name the two babies, the two kids, the, those names. That's funny. <laughs> All right, nice job, Vladimir. You, we lost you. Can you maybe he'll come back. Uh, let's go to Alexander. You got a gift for you. Okay. okay. Um, yes. This is super fast. Okay. Oh. Give me a second to load it. Okay, so we can see a racing car at a pit stop. A and, race car. Yeah, race car at the pit stop and. Uh, um, lots of people are changing the tires and the, the whole wheels, I guess, not, not the tires, mm -hmm. not just the tires. Mm -hmm. And um, so, in order to help the driver to continue driving as fast as possible. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do you know the name of that that group of people? Um, 
No, not really. It's a, we call that a pit crew. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's quite obvious. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. What else? There, there is a like uh, some um, paintings on, on the on the surface, so the driver uh, w would know where 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 he stops. Uh huh. Uh huh. You could say like lines lines on the pave on the pavement. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And we got uh, some commercial of the Alliance Company. Yeah, you could call that an advertisement. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The commercial will be on TV or the radio. Uh huh. So, so okay. if it's just a picture or a logo, we could just call it an advertisement. Yeah, and uh, also we can see some, you know, technical uh, technical equipment mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. to help people. I don't know, it's some ultra fast screwdrivers or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they have all kinds of fancy things. Yeah, <laughs> that they have. Yeah, I've, it's interesting looking at the front. Um, the they the car comes in, and then the very front of the car, some guy has something, and he puts it in the car. Yeah, he lifts the car with it. Ah, yeah. Do you know the name of that tool? The thing that that lifts the car? Um, no, I don't. It's called a jack. A jack. Okay. Yes, important car tire changing vocabulary if you're <laughs> stranded somewhere. <Okay. laughs> you need a jack. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yes. That's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. This one's more straightforward. Um, do you know the name of the? Okay, they have the lines on the pavement. They're yellow, and in the middle they have these these other symbols. Um, and it looks like like that. Uh, do you know the name of that that symbol? Uh, arrow. Arrow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Got it. Arrow. The R's, yeah. So the arrows just shows show what direction, where where to go, but pretty straightforward for for this car. I think they know where to go. <laughs> Professional driver. Yes. So some kind of race car. Um, maybe it's. I'm not sure what kind of race it is. I'm not a big um, race watching kind of girl, but um, yeah, definitely has a pit stop and the pit crew is trained to to change tires and. Uh, help the do some main maintenance on the car in a very fast time, very short amount of time before it goes away. It's really impressive. I think I would be too stressed out to be on pit crew. <laughs> it's very stressful, <laughs> very fast pace. I don't think I could handle that. <laughs> there is like 15 people, or how many people? A lot, yeah. It's hard to count when they're moving. More, more Maybe than 15. 20. 20 how, more than 20. how long do they take to change the tires? Because it takes just seconds. Uh huh. They they try to do it in as little time as possible, mm -hmm. so they don't lose. So, so they don't. Uh, you could say so they don't lose time in the race, so it doesn't take them too long. Can I they say change the four tires? Is, is the front ones, the back ones, all of them? I don't know. Uh huh. All the tires. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Can I say they, so they don't lose the momentum? Yeah, you could say that. Um, I think age. time. Momentum. I time there. Yeah, because okay. momentum, like they do lose a little bit of momentum because they don't keep going. Um, but yeah, I guess. It momentum could, it could of their age. Them. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Not losing the momentum in the yeah, it's like they they have this power that keeps building, and so they don't have a problem or crash because of old tires. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Okay. Yeah. And they try to do this um, as fast as possible, you can say that. Or you can also say in as little time as possible. You can say both of those kinds of things for pit crews. Very stressful, high-paced job, fast-paced job. Your, your most important job is lasts for five seconds <laughs> or two seconds. <laughs> Otherwise, it looks like you just wait. But they have to be very coordinated, and everyone looks like everyone has a job here. Very organized. Okay, good. I think we got most of that. Yeah, I think we got all of it. Good job, Alexander. Thanks. Let's uh, do a gift for Ali. There is a plane, a toy plane. 
plane, uh huh, or an airplane. Airplane, yes. Uh, maybe it looks uh, looks like uh, carton or something like that. Uh, yeah, it looks toy. like yeah, a toy airplane. That's good. Uh, yeah. Yes, yellow and blue uh, plane. Mm -hmm. You could also uh, call it a model airplane. Uh, yes. And uh, waiting for a squirrel <laughs> plane. <laughs> and uh, the squirrel uh, came and uh, get in the plane. Gets in the plane? Uh -huh. Gets in the plane and uh, dri started driving. Mm -hmm. He he is in a hurry. Maybe <laughs> yeah, has, maybe he has to arrive uh, somewhere. Uh huh. It's an important appointment. <laughs> yes, it's an important. Don't point. delay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm hmm. Um. What's the name of a person who flies an airplane? Passenger. A what? Uh, what you asked, I didn't understand. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, what is? Do you know the name, the the job title of a person who flies an airplane? Pilot. Pilot. Uh huh. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Uh huh. So we have a, a pilot squirrel. A pilot squirrel. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, parts of the plane. Uh, do you know the name of this silver thing at the very? Front part of the plane, it's spinning around. Looks like it's it's just oh, kind of fun. for for fun. The things that spin like that, um, sometimes they're used to to fuel a jet um, or some kind of plane. Um, sometimes they're used uh, for in ships also to help a ship move. And it's uh, something that spins, and we call it a propeller. Pro propeller, yeah. Propeller, uh huh. It's uh, general, or uh, uh, we use that uh, for plane, plane. It's general. It's general. You can also <laughs> let's let me find a, a hat with a propeller. There's a silly looking hat with a propeller propeller on it. Um, this can be a propeller too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like children put it on and. <laughs> they uh, they look really silly in it. So so it's these, this kind of thing that spins around. It can be very powerful to help a, an airplane or a boat or a ship uh, travel through the air or through the water. And it also can just be decorative for decoration on a hat like that. So there's a propeller on the front. And uh, what are the yellow things on the sides? Uh, wings. Wings, yep. So we have a propeller, we have wings, and what's the, the what are the yellow things in the back? Uh, tail. Oh, tail, uh-huh, uh-huh. Just like an animal. It has wings and a <laughs> tail. <laughs> okay, good. And uh, do you think the squirrel is really flying this plane? How is how is this plane moving? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a uh, uh, comment far from someone... Uh, it's uh, like a toy. Uh, someone uh, make mm -hmm. direction for the toy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you if you're you're not you're not um, touching it, but you're standing away from it, and you can make it do things. Uh, we call that remote controlled. Remote controlled plane. So maybe someone's holding a some kind of remote control and they're they're pressing buttons and they see the squirrel get in and then they make the plane go. <laughs> yes. I that's probably that's in my opinion I think that's what they're doing. I doubt the squirrel is is actually flying the plane, but it looks like it. <laughs> yes. That's funny. I think there is like no. some food and the squirrel goes and eat that food. Yeah, yeah. Yes, some kind uh, of uh, after the move, uh, squirrel disappeared. <laughs> I think <laughs> searching, searching, searching something. Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
I think we've got it. So we have an airplane with a propeller, wings, and a tail, and a squirrel goes into the airplane, <clears throat> maybe to get some food, and then the airplane starts moving. So the squirrel looks like a pilot, a pilot squirrel. <laughs> okay, I think that's that's good for that one. Nice job, Ali. Andrea, what about chassis? Do you call uh, do you call it chassis or is maybe another term? Chassis. Yeah, wheels. Yeah. Ah, wheels. I, I just call them wheels. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. there might be another term for them, but um, the one that I know is just wheels for that, the little black things. Yes. Okay. Bye, Ali. Uh, have a good weekend. You too. Everyone. Bye bye. Okay, see you. Bye. Take care, Ali. See you around. Bye. Bye. Uh, let's do another one, and this will be for Andre. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you were in lateral thinking earlier this week, you might remember some of this. <laughs> oh, yeah, but the doctor, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> knife, okay, uh, knife game taken to the next level. <laughs> uh -huh, it's, uh -huh. Yeah. So, two men in the room playing with knives. Ah, okay, I see. Um, yeah, there is a game when you throw a knife or... But actually, uh, it is more usual to just uh, hit the knife between the fingers, but not throwing it. And here we have a... Th to hit, hit the knife between fingers? Yeah, like very fast. Um, oh, you could say um, maybe stab, stab, yeah, stab between stab, the uh -huh. fingers. Uh -huh. yeah. So um, I think that everything. Is okay, I didn't game. know there was a game where you do that. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. I didn't. I didn't know there was a stabbing game too. I thought there was just a throwing game. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope that no one uh, has been injured. Uh -huh. uh, so, actually, I can't see anything funny here. A man just throwing knives, and uh, that's all. No. Mhm. Mm mhm. And but does do the knives um, hurt the person on the table? Hmm. I can't see any blood. So, I hope not. You have not? I hope no one... No one oh, you has... hope not. You hope not. I thought I you were saying... I hope not, because I, I, I can't not. see okay. blood. Do you see blood? Can you see blood? No. 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 So, uh, I can't yeah. see any. But the men... No. The other man's reaction, uh, or his posture, right? Posture. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. His posture is uh, interesting. Uh, why? Why is uh, is he? Why is he holding his his arm with his hand? Mm -hmm. Maybe to have a. I don't know how to say it, to have a, um, to be more steady, I don't know, just to be steady. Yeah, yeah, you could, uh-huh, uh-huh, to, you could use steady like a verb, to steady his arm. To steady his arm, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, if you move, then you, you might get in trouble, so maybe he wants to be very still and holding his arm like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, I would not do this at all. First of all, I can't throw very well, so I wouldn't do that. I also would not be the guy the, or the person to uh, to have somebody throw knives at me. That would be very bad. I think I would freak out, and I would move, and then I would get stabbed. <laughs> would anybody try this? Has, any, has anyone tried this kind of thing before? No, it looks very dangerous. Very no. dangerous, uh-huh, uh-huh. I think you have to have some very special skills to be able to do that. 
So, Actually, and I, I, know, I also don't trust people. <laughs> I know someone who just got killed just uh, when someone tried to <laughs> tried to throw knives at that at her. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, we talked about that yeah, in the that's it. in the last class. Yeah, <laughs> we did a thinking a brain puzzle about a woman who bought new shoes and she was she was taller as a result and then someone was throwing knives at her and it it because she was taller with her shoes she got hit by the knife. But the question was, how did he aim to by the by, <laughs> by the, like with uh, closed eyes, or he aimed like this guy, like with uh, some thinking process before to, to throw the knife? Oh yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, when you throw the knife, you see like uh, at what uh, where you aim. Uh huh. Uh huh. What you're aiming at. Uh huh. Yeah, where you aiming at. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so that story kind of <laughs> weird story. Yeah, it's kind of they're all kind of weird stories. Yeah. <laughs> I I think they've had long practice before. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, probably. Maybe maybe they had like a fake hand on the table or a picture of a hand and he had to do yeah. that, make sure that he did it without hitting the fingers. They practice a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> But you know, oh, after yeah. we saw first, uh, not first, uh, they were with uh, cracking uh, egg with a uh, cheek. Uh -huh. So that's uh -huh. a fake video. So this uh -huh. one could be as well fake. <laughs> could be fake too, yeah. I mean, uh, that video I looked uh, is kind of real. When you look, uh, you know, nothing like uh, could imply that it's not fake. Uh huh, uh huh. That is fake. And this as well could be. Yeah, yeah it's it, possible. It, yeah, it can be edited. Yeah, it can be a product uh -huh. of Edited. editing. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it could be. Yes. Maybe maybe they just have the guy pretend to throw a knife and then they edit the knives into the video or something. So it looks mm -hmm. like it looks like he's throwing them, but the the knives aren't are not actually in real life there. Yes. Andrea, you you have uh, like a situation for your lateral thinking game, like a, a, I do? a man without a hand. What happened? <laughs> Where is his hand? <laughs> and this like to elaborate this process. <laughs> but he's not. Okay. But he's not throwing axes. I'm sorry, <laughs> just knives. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. Okay, I, okay, I without fingers. Without think, without two thinkers or three thinkers. <laughs> what what happened? happened? Ask me yes or no questions to find out. <laughs> Did someone throw knives? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's funny. What's happening to you, Kay? I don't know. Hi, Yuki. He's, our, oh, he's already he's got, left the class. He's got connection problems huh. or something. Yeah, something probably. Goes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that happens to him sometimes. All right, uh, I think we've got enough for that one. Uh, while we're stopped, let's say hi to um, Al Ibrahim. Not Ibrahim. sure how to say your name. <laughs> uh, what what can I call you? Okay, hello. Hello, what's your you, name? You can call me Riyad. 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 Okay. Riyad. Thank you. All right, welcome yeah. to class. I think this is also your first class with me today. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're Dan, right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Where are yes, you from? I am from Algeria. You know Algeria. Algeria, yeah. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Yeah. I know where that is. Never been there before, but I know where it is. Welcome anytime. Okay. Welcome to class. We're just describing some funny pictures today. We're maybe not funny, but some 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 pictures with movement today. Yeah, I'm watching uh, that video. It's amazing. <laughs> is that real? I don't know. We were just uh, wondering that today. We were discussing, is that real or not? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's really good at throwing knives, if it's real. That's kind of montage, you know, seem fake, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's go to another GIF, and this will be for Carmen to describe. This one starts with cute. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh. It's a kitchen. <laughs> it's a ki <laughs> and he's drinking from the bottle. <laughs> he's 
he's doing that? Uh, he's watching himself. I don't know. Because <laughs> it seems like soap. The bot that that one is that soap? Uh huh. Uh huh. He's watching. I I hope it's just water. It's probably <laughs> well, just water. I hope so too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I mean I've heard that cats don't like water, but I think <laughs> it proves them wrong. Uh huh. Uh huh. This one does at least. <laughs> yeah. So I think he likes to wash himself. I don't know what else to mm -hmm, say. Maybe. So let's maybe we can look at the the different things that he's doing. Mm -hmm. each, there's three different three different parts of this one. Well, all, in all and of they all involve all, water. Yeah, he's drinking from the bottle. That one. Now he's trying to lick the the, the water that is running, and that one, mm -hmm. uh, someone is giving him water. In the hand. There's mm -hmm, uh, three mm -hmm. of them. He's just start drinking water. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So the first one, um, the first one, he's he's drinking water that's that's running. Uh, mm -hmm. What's the name of that thing where the water comes out, like in tap. your bathroom or your kitchen? A, a tap. tap. Uh huh. Or, you call it faucet, I think, in American English. Yeah, tap or fa yeah. In the UK, tap is more common. Mm -hmm. In the US, faucet is more common. Mm -hmm. You can also just call it a sink as well. Mm -hmm. Water from the sink. Mm -hmm. And then now in the UK you do say tap more, but in the US uh, we say tap water, and that's pretty. Uh, mm -hmm. It's pretty common in the US. Like I like I'm drinking tap water. I don't have any bottled water. You can that's what for instance when you go to to uh, to the restaurant, uh, you don't want to pay for the bottle. Uh -huh. You're gonna have some tap water, so you don't uh -huh. give it to uh -huh. you for free. Right. Oh, they yeah. I I miss I miss the days of of free tap water. In the Netherlands, you can ask for tap water. Sometimes it's free, but some places they charge you still like fifty cents for the tap, tap water. water? They, they charge you for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just and, <laughs> it's I know. I'm like it's just coming from your sink, but um, yeah. they yeah they you can pay at one restaurant. Most restaurants do not offer tap water, and you tell them. I'd like a tap water, and they make up something. They're like, "Oh, the water goes by a sewer, and it's not clean." Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Aren't you washing the dishes with it?" But um, my I think they want Sorry. you to buy the bottled instead. <laughs> when you go to a restaurant in the Netherlands yeah. and you ask for tap water, they don't they don't want to give it to you. They try to make up some excuse about how it's the water's not clean, which is not true because it's very clean all the time, mm -hmm. everywhere. No, I said it's um, going I by think. a sewer or something. Yeah. I, th I think they're just making an excuse, so I have to buy a bottle of water. No, what, what is that by uh, the word? Oh, a do? sewer. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's where the the waste water goes. So okay. you know, like after you go to the bathroom, it goes into the sewer, and yeah, <laughs> it, all all the dirty water goes through the sewer, and it's very very it smells very bad. It's underground, usually under the street. There's a sewer. I don't know in Netherlands because I've never been to that. But uh, for instance, in other countries, uh, I don't drink wine or whatever in when I'm having lunch, and I always ask for for tap water. They would just start serve it to me with no charge at all. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. The, the, I think I think the problem with me is that um, I do speak Dutch, but I I have an accent, so they know I'm not from here. So sometimes people <laughs> try to trick me. <laughs> I have to be very careful. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I can't win. I can speak English and they know I'm not from there. I can speak Dutch and they know I'm not from there. So they kind of think, oh, she's a tourist. She's she doesn't live here, and but, I can just but, get her to buy it. But it's the same thing to me. Water. When I go abroad, I know that I'm not native, so I've got an accent too. Uh -huh, so. uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've been lucky with that. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they, but in general, they in the Netherlands, they don't want you to drink tap water. They mm. want you to buy the bottled water. But the tap water is perfectly fine. I drink tap water at home, and it's okay. So, so there's a faucet. The water's coming out of the tap. If you're if you're in the UK, you might say that's a tap. Um, in the US, you might say sink or faucet, but they're all the same thing. Then the water that comes out, we call it tap water in both places. Yes, so we have tap water. Um, the second one, you have um, the hand. Water coming from the hand. Looks like. Um, there's a, a good verb for that, Carmen. Do you know a, a verb for, for what the water's doing um, running. The, in the second one? Running. Yeah, running. You could say running down the person's hand. Mm -hmm. You can also say um, dripping 
to oh, yeah. dripping, okay. dripping um, from or off the the person's hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, dripping, and you, she can say that also the person drips water is or is dripping water into the cat's mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So you just let water fall, and it, it's just a small amount of water. It drips into the cat's mouth, so it can drink the water. <laughs> Where where are they in that second one with the hand? The bathroom, I think. No? Bathroom, uh huh, uh huh. And what part of the bathroom? The shower. Shower, uh huh, mm -hmm. uh huh. Looks like they're in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Most, it's funny because cats usually avoid the shower. That's it. it can be that a little wet. wet. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> this is the exception to the rule, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's an unusual cat, I think. Okay, and then the last one. Probably also water. I hope it's not soap, <laughs> but it's, yeah. it's in a certain it's in a, it's in it's in a certain thing. Uh, would, you, would you use the verb to spray? Yes, uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. you could say you spray. They spray water into the cat's mouth. Because how do you call that thing that what, what you used to spray on you? I don't know. Um, uh, how do you call that kind of bottle? They've got this. Uh, I don't know how a to spray it. bottle. Oh, spray bottle, okay. Spray bottle, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, so they have a spray bottle, and so you use spray bottle. Uh, spray can also be like, um, it can be a verb. Most of the time we use it, like you spray water into the, into the mouth. You can also use spray like a noun, like, like uh, that, and that refers to like the tiny little drops of, of okay. water, like the, sp and, the, and, the spray. And what's the difference between uh, spray and sprinkle? Sprinkle is going to be like um, bigger drops of water. Spray mm -hmm. is, is tiny, tiny, very small drop. Ah, okay, we okay. call them mm -hmm. droplets when you spray. If that's the very, very tiny drops of water are droplets. You get those from spraying. Sprinkle is, is just maybe like if, if it's raining a little bit, you can say it's sprinkling mm -hmm. as well. So sprinkling is a little bit bigger, more, a little more water when it's sprinkling. So okay. spray is the smallest amount of water. Then you have sprinkle. A large amount of water, we might call it a splash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spray, sprinkle, splash. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So this cat just really likes... <laughs> maybe I, I have seen some things for cats. Um, Natalie's not here. She might know. Um, there's some kind of uh, water bowl for cats, but it has a motor in it, and so the water is always moving, and apparently that makes cats want to drink water more. Okay. <laughs> cats like, 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 it makes it look like a river or something, where the water is moving. They like, they're, they like to, to see that. Okay, uh, I think that's, we've very in-depth <laughs> covered this one. Yeah. <laughs> I was joking in these classes. Probably this is the most that that anyone talks about these gifts ever, <laughs> because usually people just look at them and they say that's funny, and then they go on. <laughs> we didn't discover what is the breed of the um, cat. We didn't oh, uh, mm, uh, you yeah. said tabby, tabby cat. I remember you told us. Yeah, yeah. Tabby cat. Yeah, mm. with stripes, gray, gray with stripes. Tabby. Has no breed. I mean, it's a tabby cat. It comes. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's not a yeah, breed. Yeah, with dogs you have breeds, and with cats I think it's more just like the color, the words to describe what color they are. Like you could have a tabby cat, a cat with spots. Cat. Um, there's Siamese cats, and it has to do with what color their fur is. There are different. I think there are different breeds of dog person, um, but you'll, you'll hear more about dog breeds than cat breeds. But there are there are different breeds of cats, but most of the time I think there's just like a ba like a more very common kind of cat that you find in your house. And and how do you call in English and Spanish is Angora? How do you, how do you, got, you got a name for that kind, kind of cat? Um, you know, maybe, that's, that sounds familiar, that but I'm not sure. Oh, okay, no, I'll, yeah. I'll just I'll try to find it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm I'm a more of a dog person myself. So <laughs> Me too. I can, I can talk about dog breeds, but not not so good at the cats. <laughs> but this is this is a tabby cat because of the stripes. It's gray with the, the black stripes. Yes, my parents used to have a tabby cat like that. 
Okay, uh, we have about three minutes, so let's do one more GIF, and this is a group effort, so if you have something to say about it, you can say. Everybody got one to describe already. Okay, here's here's another one. <laughs> This one's cool. An elephant painting itself. Uh huh. Good, good. <laughs> Auto portrait, or what is the name when you paint yourself? A self portrait. Self portrait, okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Selfie. Yeah, definitely. Aleph healthy. Aleph healthy. Picture on your phone. <laughs> Yeah, I would call this a, a self-portrait because he's not, it's not like a camera, he's drawing a picture. Is it? <laughs> yeah. So this is cool, elephants are, are pretty It's smart. a handmade selfie. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you can say drunk. You could, <laughs> you could say hand-drawn selfie. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he's using his trunk to draw, so that's the very long nose. It's a trunk. Is that a brush? He's using, I don't know. Uh -huh. What is that? Paintbrush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A paintbrush. And we all one word, paintbrush. Yes, I want to see, I, I'm trying to find the, the video of this, not just the GIF, because you only see a few seconds. I want to see... Um, it's it, the beginning and also what happens after this. Does he color it? Does he, or is it just black and white? I want to know these things. <laughs> How much did he draw? Did he just draw an elephant, or did he draw the background with the with the grass and everything? <laughs> it's kind of an artistic elephant. It. I think someone drew it and then just put their paintbrush in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's possible. It's fake, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's fake. No, it's not fake. It's real. It could do that to draw. But he draws better than I do. That's for sure. He's <laughs> better at drawing. No, really. Uh -huh. The fake, I think. <laughs> it's kind of difficult yeah. to draw. I couldn't draw like that. No, I'm not so good at that. Especially, like, the trunk is really good. It's a really good picture of a trunk that he has. <laughs> well, how... Yeah, there's... Oh, go ahead. I want to say that it may turn, uh, out, turn out that uh, the elephant puts only two strokes, and that's all, and this picture um, was drawn before. Yeah, yeah. that's what I think. Yeah, possible. Uh -huh. <laughs> You could say he, he paints two strokes. Yeah, paints two strokes. Uh huh. So two lines, two strokes. Yep. Yeah, that's possible. So we can do our research and try to see if we can investigate. Is this how much did he draw? How much <laughs> how much is actually drawn before he starts drawing? Before he starts painting. Andrea, what is the name when you discover like a cheating when you what you investigate? do? Investigate. No, no, no. Uh, the you discovered. Like you, oh. I, this cheating, I... Uncovered? Revealed? Revealed? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, nice job, everybody. Um, I had a few more, but we'll see this class on Fridays, Thursdays, Fridays. Um, so gift class, very fun. Lots of new vocabulary that you'll see in the in the chat. Um, I need to let you guys go. This is my last class for today, but I come back tomorrow with two classes. I think two, yeah, two classes. One is reading and pronunciation. The other is creative writing. So you uh, will have a chance to write stories. So that one's intermediate and advanced level, creative writing okay. tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend. And if I don't see you, I maybe we'll see you next week. You're starting to have a robotic voice. But... Okay, sorry. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.